welcome to the very first episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist, here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Oh, hello, hello to all my fans out there. Please stop with the flash photography. I'm just a regular koala, just like anyone else. So, my celebrity co-host, as you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. Kaya, can you guess our very first animal ever that we're going to discuss today? I'll give you a hint. They are some of the cutest animals out there. A bunny? A guinea pig? A piglet? Oh, oh wait, a moose! A mouse! No, Kaya, well, being that this is our very first episode, I was thinking we start with a very special animal that is close to my heart. The koala bear! Best animal ever! No offense, other animals. Well, since you are a koala bear, can you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Sure, we're very important animals. I live in Hollywood, in Los Angeles. I'm sort of a big deal. Okay, thank you, Kaya. Well, all other koala bears actually are only from one place in the entire world, and that's Australia. Australia is a country on the other side of the world from where Kaya and I live here in California. Australia has many beautiful ecosystems. An ecosystem is everything that exists in that particular environment. An ecosystem includes living things such as plants, animals, and things that are not living such as soil, sunshine, and water. Here's a really cool fact about Australia. 80% of all animals living in Australia can only be found there and nowhere else in the whole world. That is very special and a great reason why we should always protect these animals and their homes. Oh, I can't wait to learn about koala bears. Did I mention they're the best ever? Yes, you did, Kaya. And I'm not going to argue. You are awesome. Let's jump right in. As I said, koalas live in Australia in eucalyptus forests. A eucalyptus is a kind of tree that naturally grows in Australia. Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves all day. They eat so many that they smell like the leaves, which is really yummy. I prefer Chanel number five. Are leaves all koala bears eat over there? I make the best veggie burger. I bet they would love it. Well, actually, that's pretty much all they eat. Koala bears spend their days looking for the yummiest leaves to munch on. Kaya, you should try some. But I should not try any. They are poisonous to humans. Tell me a fun fact about koala bears. Well, even though it says bear in their name, they're actually not a bear at all. Koalas aren't even related to bears. The reason the koala is called the koala bear is because the koala looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> they are part of the marsupial family. Marsupials are mammals like us, meaning they're animals who feed their babies milk and have hair. Most marsupials have pouches or pockets of skin on the mother's stomach where their newborn babies develop. Baby koalas are called joeys and they stay in their mother's pouch for about six months. After that, they remain on their mother's back for another six months before they're out on their own. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Moms are the best. Don't they sleep in eucalyptus trees too? Yes. They sleep on the branches. Actually, they sleep 18 hours a day. Talk about beauty rest. You know, Kaya, tell us a little bit about your claws. Oh yes, our claws are very sharp and powerful. Koalas use them to climb and to jump from tree to tree. I don't do that though. I like to protect my manicure. Hmm. <laughs> Kaya, you are a very odd koala bear. Tell us another fun fact about koala bears. Well, koala bears are actually very fast. They can run as fast as a rabbit. But most of the time, they lead pretty slow lifestyles. Did I mention they sleep 18 hours a day? Kaya, you do take lots of naps now that I think about it. How do you think I stay so fresh looking? Good point. Sleep is very important. 
So lastly, something a little bit more serious. Sadly, koala bear habitat, which means their natural homes, are under threat. Their homes, the eucalyptus forests, are being cut down and destroyed. Around 80% of koala habitat has been lost to drought, bushfires, and land clearing. Land clearing means we cut down their homes to make more room for human homes, shops, and farms. And while humans need these things, we should try to put them in places where koalas and wildlife are not already living. It's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. <laughs> and now it's question time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. Which country are koala bears from? Is it A, America, B, France, C, Australia, or D, China? The correct answer is C, Australia. That's the one place in the world koala bears are from. What type of trees are home to koala bears? Is it A, old oak trees, B, walnut trees, C, maple trees, or D, eucalyptus trees? The correct answer is D, eucalyptus trees. They eat and sleep in those trees too, 18 hours a day. What is a baby koala called? Is it A, a cub, B, a joey, C, a baby, or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is B, a joey. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.